out, I'll be too sexy. You ever have that story in your head? Probably not. But we all have stories in our head when it comes to working out. Maybe like working out is hard or I'll never get in shape or I'll never have the body that I want or I'm a terrible dieter or I have horrible cravings. I'm a sugar addict. I'm an alcoholic. I'm this. And then so we start to assign these stories to ourselves. And we don't realize the power of this language. You are actually the story you tell yourself. You know, it's corny. It's very corny, but it's also true. And it's the way champions become champions because they're telling themselves a different story than the people who are just not trying at all. Your brain really believes the story that you tell yourself. It listens to the narrative of your voice and it creates different chemicals based upon that narrative. Then those chemicals are going to cause a downstream effect, causing you to have different actions and reactions. Here we say, hey, here's the starting story. I want to start working out and getting in shape and eating right. It's January 1st, so that's what I'm going to do. So I go to the gym. That's the direct action. I go to the gym a bunch, but I don't see progress because it's only been a few days. So there's no change realized. I don't see what happens. So I feel stuck, and I'm like, ah, screw it. This is too hard. I'm going to start all over again. Then you get the reinforcing story because you're like, I'm a loser because I try things and I fail. I try things and I fail. I try things, and you get stuck in this circle, and people get stuck in this circle until they get diabetes and die. But we could also change that story with a direct action that causes change how do we get direct actions that cause change we take smaller actions that allow us to see really noticeable changes you know doing things like this daily habit routine i know that my clients here that are doing this and the people that are in the stick to it squad that are doing this and our team that is doing this they are seeing changes in their body and in their thinking behind the exercises and in their habits therefore they don't feel stuck therefore their reinforcing story is i'm the kind of person that changes who i am and in that cycle circulates and perpetuates and then you become a different person also when you tell yourself the story of saying hey this is hard or i'm stressed out life sucks then you actually get stress hormones that are pumped out into your body and you get increases in blood sugar levels your blood pressure goes up your muscles get all tense and then over time this leads to hormonal disarray metabolic disease diabetes hypertension cholesterol issues etc so what happens is that in that story with that stressor and our story continuing to perpetuate we can go from here to here to here to here very easily so instead let's tell a better story to ourselves and do it every single morning because when you go to sleep you forget sometimes you got to wake up and remind yourself of what the story needs to be as the corny saying is from joe rogan be the hero of your own story that's really corny to me i don't even like that saying really but i more so liked create your story right you are the god of your world if you can create your story here you know this is a person that enjoys eating so she tells herself yeah i love eating healthy foods it's easy for me because i enjoy eating healthy you know this is a person who enjoys fitness this is my time this is my me time i enjoy this this is my story right as to where some other people might be saying my story is i hate working out i hate the gym i hate eating healthy instead it'd be a thumbs down and then you're not going to be happy or get progress or feel like you're having joy in your workouts our goal is to have fun and make work play Work is planned. So, if you are not currently happy with the story that is going on in your life, perhaps try to sit down and rewrite that story with better identities, identities that accept yourself, identities that forgive the people that have wronged you, identities that allow you to progress forward, taking the actions you need to take to get that a positive story cycle going okay we're moving on over to the habit roll call now it's a beautiful friday to get into it let's do it the world famous habit roll call arrived at the habit roll call check-in challenge we're here and it's feeling kind of warm in here we got thunderstorms last night waking us up thank goodness might get some rain in to kill out these fires mike wassman day 85 of meditation 
day eight of physical therapy. I just went for a nice walk. It's getting less smoky, which makes me doing makes doing exercises easier. Less excuses, better stories for people. As far as PT goes, I've been doing the big three as well as the exercises in the Athlete X video, which are helping a lot. Let's give it a... Oh, yeah. Awesome. Um, what else have we got here? I need to get my body in good shape since I'm going to Zion National Park on Sunday. Evelyn Price, good morning. Have fun on at Zion, by the way. Evelyn, good morning. Day 16, no sugar, over 6 grams. Got my stretches in, hip exercises done, toe touches today. Walked four and a half miles yesterday, heading back home today. She's driving back home from Laughlin yesterday. She made it safely, everybody. Sammy. Yeah. I love it. I'm going to give you a hype horn, Sammy. <laughs> Banded shoulder retractions, 23 banded shoulder retractions and pec stretches. Other than that, it's been a rest day. I ordered foam roller Monday, so waiting on that to do mobility exercises. Cool, Sammy. If you haven't gotten a vibrating foam roller yet, I know you just ordered one, so I hope I didn't waste your money there. It's good to have a couple laying around. But if you didn't get a vibrating one yet, man, get one. I mean, shit, if you can't afford it, I'll give you like an extra 20 or 40 bucks if you need it because I believe in that thing so much. Baron Adams. Eating was an 8 out of 10. Squats will be 16. Weight is 202. And as of today, he's doing 17 squats. His He just checked in with a live, and his weight is down 0.4 pounds. Great job, Baron. I'll see you at 6 for our squat off. Jonathan Hernandez, check in for today. Busy day yesterday. No yoga on the mat, but I did make it to a point to stretch. Make it a point to stretch. Doing yoga sash session now got 12 likes on my jokes today Bam. by the way jonathan that was one of my favorite jokes from you should have told it in here it felt good especially because i woke up late and i only had three minutes to come up with something i really liked your joke uh tracy warner hawkman i would tell it but i think i would ruin it day 18 walked 30 minutes at a slightly fast pace started sun starting sunday i want to start meal planning for the week oh yeah love it do I have a yes button? I think it's here somewhere. There we go. Whatever. So, um, beautiful. We'll talk about meal planning. Maybe I'll make a, another video on meal planning. I will also be making videos on supplementation as per your request, Tracy. And look forward to that coming up this weekend, hopefully. Brian Warren. Morning. Did my modified deadlifts up to 13 shoulder stretches and pulls. Boom. We also did full real deadlifts and went up in weight yesterday during his training session. Brian's neck is getting back to health. Samantha White. Calling out Tracy. Thank you, Samantha. She got it in, though. She's doing her good jobs. And workout completed. Even tried running in the pool for 20 minutes. Ooh, that's a phenomenal exercise. I love doing that. I went to the Vegas pool and went running back and forth in the Vegas pool, and I was going like through the pool, and people were all staring at me. But I didn't care because I used to be a fat kid, and now I have a body I'm proud of. So when I was running through that pool, I was like, yeah, that's right. I earned this, baby. I earned this chance to run through this pool. So feels good to be there. You performed six squats today. I want to try to add two squats a day. Beautiful. I love it. Love it, Samantha. We're going to add two squats a day. Maybe when you get to like a higher number, we'll start to add like a kettlebell or something like that. And maybe just go up by one rep at a, a day at that point once you start getting weight. But two a rep a day sounds great. All right, everybody. That is the habit roll call check-in of the day. Make sure that we are sticking to it. You got to stick to it to get to it. Okay, today's, let's give you a little reminder of what the, what the deal of the day was here, writing your own story. It sounds corny, but it really is one of the biggest deciders behind how you make decisions. It's the identity that you carry, and the identity that you carry is very malleable. People think, oh, I'm a person who's, I'm left, I'm right, I'm black, I'm white. And dude, you're not any of that shit. You're like a, a bag of chemicals. You're a bag of chemicals that like changes itself constantly. And you have to maintain an awareness to not let that bag of chemicals take you over and so that you maintain your decision making. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, I believe that's what takes a person to their higher self. That's how we find our truer potential. And we certainly don't do it by creating negative or malicious stories in our life and replaying those over and over. You're not a bad person just because a bad story gets in your head. You're just affected by it if you keep listening to it. So instead, we're going to build new stories created with us as this main character accomplishing and succeeding. All right, everybody.
trainer Steve, I'm ready to take on this weekend and get my squats on right now with Baron. See y'all later. I'm trainer Steve. I'm out. Go chase it. Go do the things that make you happy. Your happiness comes first.